Today we're going to be looking at some handy dandy Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, that's cute, but point of information, I already know all these keyboard shortcuts. That just means you're cooler than me, you're smarter than me, you're not bad to look at, if I may say so myself, and I should be ashamed for wasting your time. Now, for the rest of you who want to learn some Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts, let us start with the basics. Uh, you see the key with the little Windows logo to the left of your keyboard? We're going to be using that key a lot. Uh, pressing it on its own will open up the Start menu. Press it again, close the Start menu. If you don't have that key on your keyboard, that is kind of weird. But you can also press Control Escape to open up the Start menu. Just FYI. Pressing the Windows key in A will open up the Action Center. These are kind of basically chores that your computer wants you to do, but the last time I checked, you're, you're the boss, not your computer, so don't let it push you around. If you want to search for something quickly, you can search by voice by pressing the Windows key and C to open up Cortana. What's 256 times 55 divided by 32? The answer is 420. Thank you, nerd. If you want to start digging through all your files, press the Windows key and E. That'll open up the File Explorer. To access the Settings menu, press the Windows key plus I. Those are all your quick settings. Pressing the Windows key and X is pretty handy. It opens up the Quick Link menu, which, well, you know what the words Quick and Link mean, yeah? If you got a bunch of windows open and you can't quite tell where a certain one is, press the Windows key and tab to open the task view. That'll show all the stuff that's open. Just click on the one you want to bring to the front. If you've got too much going on in general and you want to take a quick peek at your desktop, hit the Windows key and comma while holding the Windows key down and you can see your desktop. Uh, release the Windows key and then everything will pop back into place. If you want to minimize all your windows, hit the Windows key plus D to see the desktop. Now everything's minimized. Hit the Windows key, then Shift and M to bring everything back. And then when you've had enough in general, hit the Windows key and L to log out. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that because I'm actively recording. Now this just scratches the surface. There are a ton of other shortcuts available if you're interested. Just Google Windows shortcuts, or if you want to show off what you've learned here, hit the Windows key and C, remember Cortana, Windows keyboard shortcuts. Look at you, you old pro. Now that you know all these keyboard shortcuts, you can take your mouse and throw it in the garbage. You will never need it again. Throw it away, just like me. Boom. Yep, I threw it away. I'm not really going to throw it away, no. Because I love it. I'm never getting rid of my mouse. You can pry my mouse from my cold, dead hands. Which might be the case because I do work a lot. Statistically speaking, I'm probably mo most likely to die at my desk. So, that's when you can have my mouse.